Have you ever wondered how much aluminum foil it takes to stop a bullet? Probably not, but I don't care, because today we're finding out. That's right, we're making bulletproof vests. It's time to make some high-tech bulletproof vests, boys. I'm not sure if what we're doing is strictly legal. I don't know if you're allowed to make bulletproof vests, so we're just gonna close the garage door and no one will know. Have you seen how expensive bulletproof vests are, Tyler? No. And neither have I, but I'm assuming very expensive. And this is cheap. I have eight rolls of tin foil. Uh, this is probably way too much. This could probably stop a 50 caliber bullet. How high are we oh, testing? 80 calibers. Ah. 80 whole calibers. That's so many calibers. That's... <laughs> Layer for mother Carefully layer it just like they do in the just like they do in the factory. Exactly how they do it over at a bulletproof vest warehouse. Just like men's warehouse, but for bulletproof vests. I then layered and layered the aluminum over and over again for probably 10 hours. See, it's more like 10 minutes, but it felt like 10 hours. That will stop a tank round. I don't believe you. Well, get a tank round and we'll test it. Until then, it stopped a tank round. You know what? You got me. <laughs> this is one million layers of aluminum foil. Pure aluminum. Mmm, tastes like aluminum. That's aluminum. I'm going to use my uh, hydraulic press to press this down into a very thick, solid plate of aluminum. You have a hydraulic press? Why haven't we ever used it for videos before? It's outside. I drive it every day. There she is. Uh -oh. My hydraulic press. I'm hydraulic depressed. Are you ready? Yeah. I'm gonna hydraulically depress it. Perfect. That, does that look depressed? This is eight million pounds. I don't believe you. A force being put. Eight million. If you get out of the uh, hydraulic press, then how much is it? <laughs> just one million. Great Precise. So we gonna sew it back up or just leave it? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna sew it. These will be nice and comfortable around my neck. If you think you have enough staples, I would recommend 40 times as many as you have. That's a whole lot of staples. Bit of an issue with your sewing. Oh fuck, that didn't work. Now it's just sharp pieces of <laughs> It's part of my comfort grip technology. Yeah. yeah. I'll just leave it. Didn't even feel it at all. <laughs> all right, hit me. All right. Oh fuck. I wasn't expecting that. All right, well, that is one completed bulletproof vest. I mean, later on, I went and added twice the amount of tinfoil, but I didn't record that because uh, I'm a terrible YouTuber. But uh, then we just had to wait on Tyler to build his, which uh, took no time at all. That's gonna be a bulletproof bib. It's a very uh, advanced method. Oh, that's there we go. That's all right, so you block her breasts are safe. Yeah. Um, I, I, don't, I don't have much faith in, in Tyler's vest. Okay. But you know what I do have faith in? Our beautiful sponsor, Raycon. So we'll jump right back into the action after this quick message. But don't go anywhere, you son of a bitch. This video is brought to you by Raycon. I'd show you them, but I'm like 60 feet from the camera. I didn't think this through very well. You're probably wondering, why am I in the middle of the woods? In the middle of nowhere with no civilization anywhere nearby. You know, I don't really know. But you you know what I do know is that if you're looking for a set of premium wireless earbuds that aren't gonna completely break the bank, Raycons are your answer. I mean, if you're still using wired earbuds, then why? Why are you, why would you know? Don't. Just look at how easily I climb this tree with wireless earbuds. Fucking sick, bro. Now time to see me do it with wired earbuds. What's that? I don't even own wired earbuds because I threw them all away because Raycons are so much better. But that's not even the best part. The best part is the audio quality. Because if you like fucking bass, these earbuds probably even have more bass than my expensive ass headphones. Like, honestly, it's pretty insane. I mean, that's to be expected, though. They're designed by platinum audio engineers, so people who know what they're doing. Not to mention this model, the Everyday E25s, come in a variety of colors, so you can pick anything to match your style. These bad boys match my style perfectly. Look how good I look. And you may be thinking, this all sounds too good to be true. Like, surely they run out of batteries super quick. Nope. Six hours of battery life, and that can be extended to 24 hours with the charging case. Anyways, so upgrade your bug game today click my link in the description below or just go to buyraycon.com slash ods you're gonna get 15 percent off your order supporting our sponsors supports the channel so we can keep doing really stupid stuff like this i'm gonna go now i don't even think i'm like supposed to be out here so i'll see you later you may think that we're just gonna shoot ourselves with these vests. That's what I'm planning on. I don't fully trust them. We're gonna use Mrs. Thick. Mrs. Thick. Look at how thick she is. Ooh. This is called the uh, cunt hold. Ah, not to be confused with uh, cuck holding. No, no, this is very different than cuck holding. Sure. She's almost as tall as me and she doesn't have a head. <laughs> this is am am animal atomically correct. If she gets shot all the way through, that basically represents a person would have been shot all the way through. There are any like, holes? 
There's no holes already checked, otherwise I wouldn't be using it for this. Whoa. It's anatomically correct, right? Completely yeah. accurate. It's anatomically correct to a woman with no arms. Ah. Or head. It's the ideal woman. <laughs> Stand. This, this vest fits very tight and it's a large, so she thick. We're gonna take her up to the secret location. We're gonna take her out on a nice date, buy her some dinner, and then we're gonna shoot her. <laughs> As always, we picked a great day to go shoot, uh, but that didn't stop us. We raced up to the range through some be beautiful God's country, or I guess you could say Jesus country. And uh, luckily for us, the whole way, the roads were super smooth. I mean, look at this stable footage. You can totally tell what's going on here, but eventually we we finally made it, thanks to the help of our buddy Jesus. Thanks, Jesus. Hey, she does have a butthole. How about that? I say I take her down range, mm -hmm. and then we test out yours first, because it's going to fail. Okay. And then we'll test out mine, because it's going to succeed. Fail. Get, you're drunk. You're wasted. Get up. Uh, Fuck. She's too tall. <laughs> you're too tall. You know, I love your long legs, honey, but they're really, they're getting in the way right now. I've got a hole right here, though. Oh, 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 got it. it. Goes all the way up. That's like perfect. You just gotta love nature, you know. Those bad boys right there, those redwoods, redwood oaks. Hey, that's a that's a high tech piece of equipment you got there. That looks like that's gonna do nothing. When I put it in the truck, I uh, lost a couple sheets of paper. Do you think that's gonna be an issue, or was there like an equation you came up with to yeah, get that amount of paper? I hope that doesn't knock her over. That's not <laughs> here. I'll just brace her from behind, and then I'll, I'll get the gun. And then you get the gun yeah. and shoot her. She's leaning like Michael Jackson, but all right, just hurry this up. Oh God, all all day, you know. Oh, what do you have going on? I'm driving home after this, so I gotta. Yeah, <laughs> We've got an assortment of weapons here. We're starting from weakest to least weakest. We've got a 22, a 9 millimeter, a 45, a shotgun, a 5.56, 7.62, and 7 millimeters. It feels good standing in front of all of these. I can see the comments now. Oh, oh, they're beautiful. Oh, so, so many comments. Be allowed to have guns. So many comments, yes. Oh, more comments. Give me all that engagement. Yes. Oh, so many comments. We're testing Tyler's vest with a 22. If I can hit it. Did I hit it? Should I hit it one more time? Hit it a couple times. I only got three bullets. Moving, Let's damage. assess the damage. Uh, oh yeah, sorry. Your okay, first shot was a little high and uh, went totally, completely through it. Straight through? Straight, okay. Straight on through. Peel up her bib and see yeah. the carnage. Oh yeah. Oh uh, yeah. Couple, couple hits. Yours failed on the first one. Well, should we do mine while we still have a dummy? I think we should do one seven six. If we do the seven mil, I think we won't have a dummy left. <laughs> I I honestly thought you would stop a bullet, but that did not even no, stand a chance. No. This. Is a legitimate police issued life vest. Li <laughs> yeah, it saves lives. I'd be worried about ricochet on this one, boys. Somehow this is an extra large life vest, but it barely fits our thick our thick bitch. Vest number two. Still the 22. We're seeing if mine can hold up. Hopefully I can hit it. Ooh, I'm sure I saw one of them bounce off. Should she carnage? This one completely missed. Nope. That one didn't go through. We good. All right. Gucci. There is no damage. I need to aim lower with that gun, but. Yeah, no, there's no holes. If you go into a battle where there's only 22s, you're set. Next up, boys, is the 9mm. What do you think on this one, Tyler? You think good, bad? Oh, I think the 9mm has a chance of going straight through. Straight through. Straight through. All right. No, no hesitation. I'm going to step a little closer so I don't miss and hit my camera. All right. Surely I can hit from here. I mean, hopefully. Right. I'm just going to. Where'd I hit the, oh, dead center. Ooh. Come on. I don't think it went through. Yes! Oh my it God. It stopped it. <laughs> I can't. All right, it can stop at nine mil. What about a 45? 45. Do it from here. Hey. You could just clear it. Yeah, but then I gotta pick a bullet up off the ground. Ooh. Oh, fuck. She's good, boys. She's good? Are you fucking serious? <laughs> It's top 45. Next up, the shotgun slug. This is just gonna knock it over. I think it's just gonna split it in half. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, that might fuck it up. <laughs> this is gonna dent it so bad. I hate shooting shotguns. Yeah, that one's gonna suck. 
This hurts. Ah! Oh, that was painful. Uh, it didn't penetrate. What the fuck? Wait. No, I think it penetrated. Yeah, yeah, there's an exit wound. It went straight through her. Yeah, it, there's a hole on the other side, too. Something there. That's probably 22 or 9, though. That's 45. That looks dope. Yeah. That just, like, stopped the it's fucking bullet. Yeah. We knocked her a little off canter with that twill. Yeah, that might have, been, might have been a bad idea to shoot it with that, but... <laughs> Next up, AR-15. Uh, I'm gonna aim bottom left, I guess. Hang on, let me unload this thing. All right. Oh, fuck. Did she go through? That went straight through. That didn't hit a good spot, though. There's not much tinfoil there. All right, yeah, so AR-15 goes through it. Straight, straight through. Outer ass, too. It was going straight, straight out. <laughs> AK. Uh, it didn't survive the AR, so I don't expect it to survive this. Shoot it. I think we actually, hang on. All right, yeah, we got it. Uh, uh, actually, yeah. All right, yeah, we got it. <clears throat> I don't know which one was 762. <laughs> you know, I don't see any new holes. So we're just gonna say it didn't go through. I could shoot it again. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. It blew off half of her torso. Hey, so. make that gun safe. Oh, yeah, sorry. All right. oh, fuck. You didn't have your... <laughs> no, cause Why you keep taking them off? I can't hear you guys like you... Next up is the seven. Is the seven mil. You know, we're both down range of Joey right now. Yeah, it's a little scary. I think that's where he hit. I don't think anyone's hit there yet. Um, yeah, not looking good for her. That, that camera can see that. That's, Oh. that is a clean entry. Let's see if there's an exit. It's actually a very dirty entry. Uh, yeah, that looks to me like an exit that almost broke the strap. I think so. She's it's done for. Let's end. just take this vest off. We're done with. All right, that's how she fared. You know, I like to say up until the 12 gauge, she was unscathed. Uh, yeah, totally unscathed from both of ours. Our breasts are fine though. That is that is what is important. We protected the breast season. This has been a good test. Turns out you can make a bulletproof vest that is good for at least up to 45. Get, honey. Need some help. Really? In front of my friends? Really? Come on. Come on. Come on. We're going to get food. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Just turned it to aluminum. Yeah. Straight aluminum. No longer foil. Seven mil looks dope. Put her out of her misery. Okay. That's more misery. It didn't blow her leg off like we we're hoping. We're putting her out of her misery. She's One experienced enough walking at this point. She's tired of it. Well, that just put a lot of holes in it.